When we are upset by current relationships or family members, what can we practice to stay calm? Remember to put ourselves in time out. Like with children, you know, we put them in time out so that they can kind of get calmer and they can ground themselves and come back in a better way. Well, this is something we all need to do ourselves when we're confronted with a conflict. Research has shown that a person's IQ, their intellectual quotient or their intelligence level actually can go down two, what they call two standard deviations when they become frustrated or upset. So we don't want to act while we're feeling frustrated. This means that if, say, you're above average in intelligence, that when you become frustrated, you might actually be functioning at a below average intelligence level. So you, so you do definitely want to go away and calm down before you express or deal with a problem. The way that you approach your life and the level of your mood or calmness is affected by many things. Um, who you associate with, what you read, what you watch, you know, and what you say to yourself. I mean, if you come from a place of comprehension or empathy of others' needs and their feelings, and you don't say things to yourself that a a kind of agitate yourself by thinking about they're being unfair or, you know, they're doing this to me, then you catch yourself also to a more positive level of just general calmness. And of course, if you practice things like meditating or just other activities that keep you in a positive mind, you're gonna generally be more calm and less likely to go and become so frustrated in situations. In the book, I uh, list, I have, a, have numerous pages on possible strategies that, you can, that a person can choose from to actually bring themselves back to a calm place when they're, when they're taking that time out. Mm -hmm.